the way I've worked over the last few years, it's like super intense filming period and then calm, and then super intense marketing period and then calm. I just went straight into training and it was nice because I was just in. I did gymnastics and stuff when I was younger, but I had never done just intensive things and I was learning to rock climb and stuff like that, things that I'd never done before. But it was great. I would never go on a cliff and do it. I like to be in a safe place with lots of mats and someone belaying me. I knew when it was gonna be released online, so I had like five minutes where I was texting my friends because I felt awful having lied to them. I was like, by the way, this thing's happening. It's one of those things that I hadn't worked for longer than two weeks on a project. So that felt different, because again, the consistency as a self-employed person, consistency is wonderful when it comes. And then I guess being surrounded by like, uh, really well-respected, well-known people, that was also. Yeah, at the read through I went for about 100 weeks because I was so nervous. But it never felt like a shift in anything other than like, oh my God, I got a job and I'm like really part of this thing. I found it very difficult at the beginning because I'm quite a private person and I'm not fun really for chit chat either. And I found it quite overwhelming because I knew that this character was amazing and spoke to people, but I was like, it's a character that's not me. So I had this sort of like, oh, I wanna be great when people come up. But ultimately people are always really nice. So my friend was like, just calm down, like it's cool. And then it's okay. People are always lovely. There were like bits and pieces that I remember. There's so much of it that I can't really remember. Um, because I couldn't sleep the night before, I was so nervous. And then me and John went onto the Comic Con floor, which was like really intense. But again, everyone was just super nice. It's just like a massive influx of energy. And it was all wonderful. But yeah, it's the sort of thing like you can't sleep after so much adrenaline. And it's also great because with the time difference, my mum would usually be awake by the time I went to bed. So then I could just chat to my mum. I can't remember what I did that year. I think my, we and my family went to like to the countryside for Christmas to get like out of the city and it was nice to just be still and eat loads of biscuits and watch TV. I've been operating at a much lower frequency, yes. I like to read. I have crystals in my house. What else do I like to do? Basically watch crap TV sometimes because ultimately we don't all have a great bandwidth at the moment for anything more strenuous so sometimes i'll literally scroll and it will be so depressing that i'm like okay enough for right now but i'm very excited for the sort of light at the end of this tunnel for everybody for everyone's energy to and get back to work